In 2014, the scientific community was stunned by the creation of a material so black it appeared to delete reality itself, Vantablack. Developed by Surrey Nanosystems in the United Kingdom, Vantablack isn't actually a paint or pigment, but a forest of vertically aligned carbon nanotubes grown on a substrate. These carbon nanotubes, measuring just 20 nanometers in diameter and 1450 microns in length, are so tiny that a human hair is about 5,000 times thicker. When light strikes Vantablack, it becomes trapped, bouncing between the nanotubes until it's converted to heat, absorbing an astonishing 99.965% of visible light. This extraordinary light absorption creates an optical illusion where objects coated in Vantablack appear two-dimensional, losing all visible features and textures. The material was originally developed for space applications, particularly for coating the interior of telescopes and satellites to reduce stray light and improve the sensitivity of optical instruments. Controversy erupted in the art world when sculptor Anish Kapoor secured exclusive artistic rights to Vantablack in 2016, preventing other artists from using the material in their work. In response to the exclusivity controversy, artist Stuart Semple created an ultra-black paint called Black 3.0 that anyone could purchase, except Kapoor, who was explicitly banned from buying it. Since Vantablack's creation, other ultra-black materials have emerged, including MIT's carbon nanotube material that absorbs 99.995% of light, technically making it even darker. Today, newer versions of Vantablack that can be applied at lower temperatures have expanded its use beyond aerospace to luxury watches, art installations, architecture, and high-end consumer products. The creation of materials like Vantablack represents not just a scientific breakthrough, but a philosophical one. By engineering the absence of light, scientists have created a window into the fundamental nature of how we perceive our world.